So I've got 96 wires. I don't know where any of them go. <laughs> This is the battery update. We've got all the modules mounted on the cooling plates. We've got the BMS panel installed with the Orion BMS, your negative discharge contactor, your positive discharge contactor, and that's your pre-charge contactor down there. This here is a low voltage pre-charge contactor controller, and this is a simple charge fuse. Holds a little 30 amp in it. So the next step is to um, take all these string wires, connect up to each module. Um, there's 96 of them. I'm going to be here a while. All the water lines are in. We did a pressure test on it for three hours and it failed. So we have to pull it apart and do it all again. Here's our next battery update. I've finished running all of 96 string wires to all the modules. Everything came up nice and well, all crimped and cut to length. They plug in like that. Um, the new water system is getting pressure tested as we speak using a bicycle pump at 1.5 bar. I'm waiting on two things, pre-charge resistor and one more contactor before we can finish hooking up this. At the moment, None of the bus bars are connected, so it's safe to work on. And um, we are not at 400 volts yet. Just kidding, I don't need these yet. The top and bottom level modules are connected together, but it's missing this one right here. So it's still safe to look at. The watering lines all being pressure tested and fix those leaks. At the front here, our pre-charge contactor and resistor arrived in the post. So all that's wired up. This is battery positive out, nothing here. This is the adjacent isolator switch that will run through there, through a current sensor so that the BMS knows how much current is being drawn from the load source, which is the Sevcon size 8 controller. And all of the string lines have been tested, every single one, 96 wires. So when I say tested, I mean a multimeter has been attached to every single pin to verify that the correct voltage is in the correct position on the harness. So now it's safe to plug into our BMS and I'll get that programmed up um, to this pack level. And we can, um, oh, another thing, you'll like this. These are 3D printed caps that just cover the bus lined nut nicely so that if there is ever a side impact, all protected. We're almost done. We've got the battery box in the bus already. Come and show you. Next step is to finish the final 12 volt wiring on the battery and then we're gonna forklift the entire battery inside. So stay ready because we don't know what's gonna happen when we get the forklift ready. But um, we've also built a custom lifting frame. That's this bad boy right here. It's got six lifting points, two at the back, two across the center, and two at the front. Equal distribution, and um, we should safely be able to get into the bus, no worries.